Guys, I'm back today with another upper assembly review, and this is the first one I've ever touched from Primary Weapon System or PWS. This is a piston driven upper assembly with about 11 and a half inch barrel. To be exact, it's 11.85 inch barrel, a really slick rail system, and an overall elegant design. So I'm super glad I got this out to the channel. Now, Optics Planet actually sent this out to the channel at my request for review because, again, I've never tried PWS, but I've always heard good things about this weapons platform. Now, Optics Planet doesn't sell complete rifles or complete AR pistols, so what we did was grab the upper assembly and dropped it on one of my registered SBR lowers. In conjunction with that, we reviewed one of the Rise Armament triggers. I've got a full review that just posted. This is one of their Generation 2 triggers, as well as one of the new Vortex First Focal Plane Optics. So we paired everything together for a three-part review series where I talk about all of these individual setups. I feel like a lot of these components really mash up well, and you can see the entire interface face of this build but in particular we're focusing on the mk111 pro upper assembly and again it's a piston driven upper assembly if you're unfamiliar as standard ar-15 runs off direct gas impingement means when the rounds fire the gas flows down the barrel up through the gas tube back down into the gas key unlocks the bolt pushes it back and cycles the action with this system the hot gas and sort of the carbon debris gets into the bolt carrier group and kind of mucks it up as you've seen Generally, when you fire an AR-15 to 300 rounds, you start to notice a carbon buildup. Some can go thousands of rounds without cleaning. Some can go 500 rounds without cleaning, just depending on the manufacturer and how your rifle is set up. With the piston system, what occurs is the gases flow down into the gas block itself, actuates a piston, and the rod itself, or the piston itself, presses on a flat face on the BCG and moves it back and keeps the hot gases up front allowing that dirt and debris to stay out of your bulk care group, theoretically allowing it to run longer without cleanings, as well as keeping the heat out of the moving components, which could cause them to fail over time. I love piston systems because they generally come with a regulator built into the piston system, whereas gas blocks can be adjustable, but oftentimes adjustable gas blocks can cause issues on a direct gas impingement system, with a uh, piston system, uh, they don't cause issues. Uh, they really work elegantly, and this one has a three-position gas adjustment, which we'll talk about in a later section of this review. Before we get too far into it, though, I do want to talk about a few things. First, the price of this upper is $13.49. So that is a pretty high price for an upper assembly, but when you consider what you're getting, it's in line with other top-tier uppers. But when you check the mobile option on Optics Planet on your phone, the price is $7.98. I have no idea why there's a huge price difference between the online website and your phone. I've seen that in the past, but if you're going to buy it, absolutely buy it off your phone or contact them and they'll match the prices. I, I, I don't see why they wouldn't. They also have a code 704TAC to save you 5% off. So that is something that can save you some more money, dropping the price uh, well below $800 for this upper assembly if you use my code. They also have free shipping options, so you'll definitely want to check that out. But $7.98 is the price you want to shoot for, uh, so I'm not quite sure why that price difference is what it is. Also, I want to give a huge shout out to Callaway Ballistics for sending the ammo over to the channel. These guys make a ton of 223 9mm 300 blackout, and they have a wide variety of subsonic options for a 300 blackout and 9mm, really clean burning, functions great, and they also did a price drop, especially on their 223, and I've got the code 704 Tactical for free shipping on ammo orders over $200, so not only can you save yourself some money, you can get free shipping, which doesn't eat up all of those discounts. So let's talk about those specs and features starting from the front, working our way to the back, and then talk about how it functions down at the range. To start off with, it's got an 11.85 inch barrel, which I absolutely love for SBRs or AR pistols. I tend to stop at 10 and a half inches. That's about the shortest I get. But an 11 inch or 11 and a half inch, or in this case, 11.85 inches, I feel like is a little bit more ideal because it adds just a touch more velocity, allowing the bowl to fragment on impact like it was designed to do. So I liked it 11.5 inch for a 
kind of that mid-range uh, uh, SBR build. That way it's able to go out to about 200 yards pretty effectively, but still be very nimble up close to clear corners, clear steering columns, things like that. Comes with half eighth by 20, uh, half by 28 threads, which is a standard thread pitch, and an A2 uh, flash hider. I took that off to put on the suppressor. We'll talk about that in the later section of this review. Now surrounding this is a really slick rail system, but underneath is a 416R stainless steel barrel chambered in 223 Wild. So 223 Wild has the chamber tolerances of a 223, making it incredibly accurate, but can handle the pressures of a 556, making this shoot both 223 and 556 effectively with no issues whatsoever. Also surrounding the front of that is their adjustable gas block and regulator system for their piston driven system. And it comes with a tool in the box to adjust this. Setting one is what you use for standard ammunition. You switch it over to setting three to run suppressed. And then occasionally some suppressors with really low back pressure will need to run on setting two. So in a nutshell, setting one is the most gas, setting two is medium gas, setting three is low gas. So just depending on what you're doing and the pressure of your rounds, you can adjust it and it works flawlessly. In the first part of the video, uh, with the first range trip and the second range trip, I ran it on setting one unsuppressed. And the third range trip I took it out on, I ran it on setting three suppressed with this Gemtech suppressor with no issues whatsoever. Now I really like this rail system uh, because it's got M-lock slots everywhere, a full pick rail at the top, allowing you to mount up a light on the side and then run a tape switch or a pressure pad up top really easily, run your iron sights up top, and the gases stay really contained even though it's venting. So even if you wrap your hand right around the gas block, it stays far enough away and it's shielded enough to where your hand doesn't heat up or burn too easily. Uh, and I did dump some rounds uh, pretty quick and pretty fast through it with no big issues. I mean, guys, it's going to heat up, but it's not that a big of a deal and if you are doing mag dump after mag dump then you may want to hold it back about here or wear some gloves um one thing i would like to see though is a qd slot attachment somewhere around here uh, but you can always mount one to the m-lock rail system and buy an aftermarket one no big deal at all just something to consider and overall the rail system locks up incredibly solid with their locking tabs and lines up great with the upper receiver so big fan of the rail system it's not my favorite in the world because of a few small things, but overall it's a very, very solid rail system and I do really enjoy it, uh, especially when you consider everything else you're getting in this upper assembly, the rail system really adds to the value. Moving along to the upper assembly itself, you're gonna see some interesting differences between this and a traditional one. Uh, this is a custom billet upper assembly uh, designed specifically to run well with this entire setup, including the piston system. It's got a billet shell deflector milled into there, and then it's got the standard dust cover. Uh, it does not have a forward assist, although I feel like it doesn't really need one, um, but one couldn't hurt. That's just kind of what they did. It also comes with a Radian Raptor charging handle, and that works incredibly well. So it's just very smooth. And that's the next thing I wanna talk about. I wanna start transitioning to the function, reliability, shootability in the field down at the range. And one of the first things I noticed right out of the box is when you go to chamber around, the interface between the bolt and the upper assembly is the smoothest I've ever felt on any upper ever, hands down. I mean, it is truly silky smooth. I don't know what they're doing to accomplish that, but it just lends to the reliability and performance of this, as well as the smooth feeling action. Overall, I mean, they are nailing it. And when you pick this up, you feel like you are picking up like a $2,000 rifle. It really is competing with the build quality and just the overall feel. There's no grittiness. Again, it's silky smooth. Uh, functionally down to range, it was 100% reliable. Again, we ran a ton of Callaway ballistics ammo as well as basic uh, 5.56 mixed bag of stuff I had, even some steel. No issues whatsoever, so 100% functional. And again, uh, the gas system worked great. It was really nice adjusting it for the suppressor. Uh, this had almost no gas blown back into my face for a wide variety of reasons. One, the gas stays up front. It doesn't shoot back into there. Uh, two, you can adjust the gas and uh, tamper it down so you can really make it perfect for your suppressor setup. 
If you have a suppressor and you never run a piston gun, you're missing out. And I think this is an amazing suppressor host platform. And definitely, uh, I would highly recommend if you have a suppressor to grab a piston upper. And this one is really on the top of my list right now. Honestly, one of my favorite piston uppers I've ever shot. I'm a really big fan. And then the overall balance is done very nicely. It's gassed correctly because you can adjust it. It functions good, it functions smooth, and this is an incredibly fast uh, shooting rifle. You can absolutely rattle off shots with no issues whatsoever. And overall, I'm just really impressed at the quality, craftsmanship, reliability, and shootability of this MK111 from PWS. I'm glad I tried it. I feel like I was missing out for a long time. I don't shoot a ton of piston uppers, but in comparison to some of the other ones I have shot in the past, this by far is the nicest. Hopefully I'll get to try a 16 inch version of this. I think that would be a pretty slick option as well. Maybe even uh, take it out for a little bit of a distance shooting because of that accurate 223 wow chamber. We'll just see what the future holds. But again, a huge shout out to Optics Planet. Check the mobile, check the website, find the best price on both of those. And again, a huge shout out to Calorie Ballistics for sending over the ammo. All the codes, and if I can link to certain things, I will in the description below. My campsite page is an aggregate site of the, all the best deals on the internet, so I'll also post that so you guys can check it out and save yourself some money. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.